of a different tutorial for you guys. Ever since I watched Nikki Tutorial's Glam Harley Quinn makeup, I was like, oh my gosh. That is amazing! I know the Suicide Squad movie has just come out. I haven't had the chance to see it yet, but hopefully this week I will get the chance to go and watch it. So I really wanted to create a Diablo inspired makeup with a glam twist on it. Instead of the word Diablo, which I think is what is written, I've done the word slay because this makeup is slaying. <laughs> The words was so challenging, so I've actually had to flip the video for you guys to read it because this is what it is normally like and it's backwards but I can see it in the mirror. <laughs> Okay, rainbows, so first thing, I'm going to create a very sexy, smoldering, smoky eye. I'm not going to use that many products because you honestly don't need that many products. The first thing I'm going to use is this Eye of Horus Smoky Goddess Pencil. These are the most amazing black coal pencils that I've used. Of course, they're cruelty free and just oh, amazing. I'm just going to take this color and just smudge it all onto my eye. I'm really gonna work this in well into the lash line because my lashes are so thin and so sparse it really makes a big difference having lots of black right in the lashes. I'm just gonna start to smudge that out even more. You need to work quickly with this eyeliner because honestly like once it sets it does not budge. That's why I like even now I'm having a little bit of trouble smoking it out because it just like locks in place so much. So now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette and just using the shade Sherbet just in that crease. And oh my gosh, I need to do my eyebrows. <laughs> look, look at that. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So now I'm going to use my Urban Decay Vice Limited Reloaded. the shade oil slick which is like a glittery shimmery black shade pat that over the top back in with the oil slick shade and a softer fluffier brush I'm just gonna start that transition I just basically blended away all of that this is the first time I've used that shade and wow it kind of blends into nothing I'm going in with a trusty baby wipe I'm just gonna clean up the massive mess that I've made. Like. <laughs> so foundation today, I'm gonna to use my Napoleon Purtis Sheer Genius Foundation in the shade Light Look 2. Moving on to brows, I'm gonna use my Pony Cosmetics Main Stain in the shade Thoroughbred, which is a nice deep dark shade. Then I'm gonna go over the top with that Spirit Rock Shadow because I want my brows to be black. So back in with that Smoky Goddess pencil, I'm gonna line my lower waterline and then go back in with the Spirit Rock Shadow. I've already dragged this color into the inner corners of my eyes slightly. So I'm just gonna also exaggerate it just down the sides of my nose. I don't have any excess color on my brush. I'm just using what's already on there and what's already like on my face. Also just pushing it up into the brow. For lashes today, I'm gonna use my House of Lashes in the style Featherette. Block out my lips with foundation. The Essence Super Fine Liner and I'm gonna start drawing the skull design. So switching over to voiceover mode, my rainbows, it's just way more easier to explain. So I'm basically just using a reference picture and it was actually a bit more harder than I thought. Like now I've already kind of made a mistake, <laughs> but that is completely okay. It doesn't have to be perfect and you can always make room for error and you can always fix your errors with just shadowing and shading. So if you make a mistake, don't stress because you can always fix it like I have here. <laughs> So I'm basically just doing the outline of the teeth, pretty much copying as much as I can of the design and then I'm going to put a few of my own little twists in. 
So all I'm using for this look is just black eyeshadow and that black eyeliner. I'm now going in and shading those teeth and then adding some shading to the kind of cheekbone area that we carved out. So this is where you can fix your mistakes if you stuff that up because I'm just covering it all with black and smudging it out basically. So now the words, this is going to be really tricky. I'm not going to do the words Diablo, I'm going to do the words Slay because why not? I think what I'm going to do is just do it so I can read it normally because I don't think I'm going to be able to do it backwards and then I can always flip the image and we'll just go from there, hey? Oh, this is going to be so tricky. I'm not good at writing. So yeah, this was pretty challenging. It would really help if you had someone else that could do it for you because that's going to save the mirror flipping image thing and it's just going to be so much easier. So I basically just found some old English text, just like an alphabet off Google, and I just copied the letters that I wanted to use. S-L-A-Y. So, ta-da! <laughs> that was so much harder than what I thought. And it is so backwards. <laughs> So for the nose, I am just drawing some lines. It's pretty different from Diablo's nose, but hey. And then I'm going in with the black eyeshadow and just smudging that out. Yeah, this is completely optional, but I'm just gonna do some lines, which I know doesn't look that fantastic, but hey. And there's the 13, which is actually my favorite number. So I'm feeling like I'm losing my jaw, so I am going to go in with some black and just sculpt out under here, which of course you don't have to do, but I just feel like my face is just melding into my neck, <laughs> which it kind of is. rainbows here is the finished look I have added a wig which I really think brings it all together the wig is from a wig is fashion I didn't end up doing the sickle on my forehead just because I was too uncoordinated to do it and my hands are just not working for me and nah. it looks so bad and I'm just such a spaz and oh my gosh if you like this video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up it would mean so much to me and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel become a part of my rainbow family because I love all of you rainbows you're amazing love you all and I'll see you guys in my next video yeah